Hey guys, Darren, and it is time for another vlog. So, um, I was started off wanting to do these weekly, and weekly is too much. I can't do it weekly. I still have enough stuff to talk about with only a week. Um, but this two weeks was actually pretty good. For one thing, there's this. This is a giraffe. Um, I didn't actually make this. This was actually a souvenir from Africa. So this was, was uh, my parents picked this up in Africa like many, many years ago. And I think it's leather on here and it's got like a paper mache interior. It's really cool. But several years ago, my dogs tore it apart. So ate its face off and chewed a couple feet off. And uh, I was able this week to actually take it, trim back the broken parts and sculpt new feet and face on here with uh, Milliput, which is two part sculpting epoxy. And then, uh, yeah, sand it down, paint it up, and it looks just like new. So that was kind of a fun little thing that I did that I was, I was kind of proud of, so. All right, but the big thing, the big thing, and it really is big. When you're making miniatures, you don't talk about big things very often, but this thing is, big. Okay, so here is what I spent the last week or so on. Um, this is the outside of the haunted house. You guys have seen the little haunted house that I did. This is for close-up shots of the front entryway. So I spent a lot of time putting this together. This was cardboard, so the, the body is cardboard, and then uh, two different sides of craft sticks for the siding, the floor, and craft sticks cut into a lot of little pieces for all the shingles. So each of these shingles was cut and glued down one at a time across here. The railing is actually coffee stir sticks. I made glue lambs. I laminated and glued together multiple pieces in order to get me some depth and then cut up a bunch of bamboo skewers to make the uh, things of the word that I can't remember right now. And then I did break down and just buy some uh, square stock for these big columns. I was thinking about gluing together lots of popsicle sticks to make this happen, but man, I didn't. I, I spent like $2 and just bought them. So I started to paint this. I actually didn't stop painting because, I mean, it kind of looks neat, right? So you can actually see, this is what it's like in all wood. It's gonna get a full coat of flat black like this. And then I'll come back with whites and grays and start to build up uh, some contrast. So you can actually see detail. I only got this far because I only had one can of flat black and this is how far I got. So, uh, but it's kind of cool because you can see you can see how it's going to look. So that'll be the next thing I will do is I will continue along with the black paint, get this whole thing black, flat black, and then come back and start dry brushing on layers of gray and white. So that'll mean every single shingle will get a brush stroke or two, every piece of wood back here, and I'll just work out until I have that there. And then this will actually be a two-sided set too. So when I finish all of that, I'm going to come around to this side and I will actually wallpaper, wood floor, and it looks like it's been tagged. It's like an inner city uh, inside or something. But um, yeah, so this will actually get built up. I'll build some furniture for in here, like a little table or something like that. Uh, but this is going to be cool. This is going to be a, a fun set um, to work on. And uh, yeah, so that's where it's at right now. So that's, that's been my week, or week and a half, two weeks, I don't know, however long it's been, that's what I did. This week coming up is gonna be kinda cool because I get to go to WorkbenchCon. They're sending me there for work, but I get to hang out with a lot of people who make awesome videos and uh, hopefully learn something, so that'll be fun. If you're going to WorkbenchCon, let me know because it'd be awesome to meet you. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it for now. I will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. To be notified of new videos as they come out, subscribe and click the bell down below. If you like this video, give me a like. If you have some other ideas for cool things that you'd like to see me make, leave a comment down below. I love interacting with you guys and hearing what you think of my videos, how I can make them better, and what else I could do. Thank you.